How about that Chris Hemsworth? He likes a job. Of course he does. Who doesn't like a job and money? But when it comes to his job, which is acting, he hasn't found too much good luck outside of actually taking part in these Avengers movies. I mean, a lot of his movies have been pretty big bombs, and once he starred in as the solo big star, they definitely did not pull in money. So it stands to reason that he would come out and want to talk about the future of Thor in the MCU. And, you know, guarantee himself another decade worth of money, so that's not a bad, uh, appealing thing either. Well, Chris Hemsworth, as it would turn out, has some great ideas. Recently, they finished shooting Avengers 4, which brings him and multiple other Avengers to the end of their contract. Which means, right now, he more or less does not have a big franchise under him, and he's gonna have to look for something new to guarantee himself more money in the future. He doesn't want to become one of these actors who falls off the face of the earth and is probably remembered for only one role, which would be Thor, in Thor Ragnarok, let's be honest. And in a recent interview, he talks about how a couple of years ago, he was like, oh, great, I got a couple more movies, I can go do some other things, find my footing, and everything will be great. And then he did Thor Ragnarok with Taika, and he fell in love with it. And now that his contract is over, he's kind of saying, you know, I want to keep doing this, I want to keep being Thor. And I would do it again, all over again. Another decade or so, I'll take it. Which, once again, guarantees him a job, so why not? And he did great as the character, so why not? And if they could bring back Taika and do another Thor movie, I don't think anybody would complain. It would definitely be a big box office draw. And I think, ultimately, the MCU could stand to benefit from something like that. Now, of course, Marvel has multiple times talked about the fact that trilogies are what they're going after and then new franchises get built. We've seen this. Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's all trilogies. They're going to be trilogies. But these type of characters are going to be legacy characters now, so where do you go with them? And now that the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Deadpool, and the likes of Silver Surfer and the whole cosmic side are entering the MCU... Do they go back to the well and stick with the familiar, or do they try something new? And that's a big gamble, right? So, Thor, as much as I love Ragnarok, I don't need a fourth Thor movie. But, some people might, which brings me to you guys. Do you need it? And personally, I would rather take a Captain America 4 or an Iron Man 4 over a Thor 4, but maybe that's just me.